Airmen at Hill Air Force Base are now using virtual reality to train themselves to handle some high pressure situations. They say the technology gives them access to a variety of scenarios. New specialist Mike Anderson got a look today. Mike, it looks pretty cool. How does it work? Yeah, pretty cool stuff, Dini. You know, they use it to train military police here. They're the guys you see at the checkpoints on base, but they also respond to any uh, law enforcement calls they have in there. And uh, they may also have to be, at times, uh, decide whether use of force is uh, necessary. You're currently posted as an entry controller at Southgate. Their jobs can seem routine. Can I see your ID? But it can also be dangerous. Sir, sir stop! Put down the gun! But now they can sir. prepare for just about anything sir. in between with sir, virtual reality. The so the advantage of having these scenarios in virtual reality is to consistently train our defenders. Trainers can load just about anything they want in a matter of seconds. You've been dispatched to a disturbance call between a male and a female in housing. The digital actors talk and respond to commands and similar to real people. Put the, put the bat down and step outside. Sometimes they don't Sir, respond. The we down. know already as outside. law enforcement that use of force is what we call our bread and butter. It is something that we consistently train on to make those right decisions. Hey, sir. And knowing when to use force, when not to, is huge. This program sir, gives trainers sir. the ability to load different situations and outcomes and play it back afterward. I think it's a huge deal to be able to give feedback uh, in them to be actually see what they did wrong or what they did right, maybe, and be able to build upon that. It doesn't replace what they've done before. Nothing gets better than putting on gear and running around after each other and really getting after it in a training environment. But this just gives us another tool. VR does offer one more way to prepare for those decisions that can mean life or death. It's imperative that we make the right decisions. And the 75th uh, Security Squadron has three of those headsets they got back in July. They can use them to uh, train in teams and split up. And all they need is some open space, like what you saw there in the warehouse. Back to you. Well, that's about as real as it gets.